Hello, today I want to show you an imposter lot generator. Uh, to use this you need to open any static mesh, select windows and imposter generator. You will see a custom tab. It uh, consists of two main parts, generating a new lot itself and taking a screenshot of the current mesh. I will start from the taking screenshot. Uh, I can set a uh, target size, uh, for now it will be default to 1k, and I simply click generate texture from the mesh. After that, a new texture will appear in the content browser. Uh, it is a screenshot uh, of the mesh that is spawned on the current level. Uh, it can be without it, it can be generated without it. I can show you. Um, <coughs> it screenshot spawns a um, static mesh on the level, so it can be affected by post-processing and lighting. For example, I will set a red light, click generate, and it becomes more red. I will save on the default. Uh, it uh, will be needed for us in future. Uh, back to the generating new lot itself. Uh, there are uh, several options. We can use plane as a new lot or we can use uh, a referenced mesh as a new lot. I will show you a default plane. And also we can set use default or use size of the mesh. It will be calculated automatically or we can set a mesh size manually. I will click generate with default settings and we now have a new plane lot. It uh, has a separate material. If we want to delete this, we can just reduce a number of lots. Uh, I will show example with setting a custom size. I will generate and it will be a size of the cube. And the last one, we can set uh, a reference mesh, select someone, for example, cone, and generate new lot. And it will add a geometry from this mesh, uh, and it will use only default materials uh, from the current mesh. I will back to plane. We'll use this default size. Uh, what we should do next? In the plugins content folder, we have materials. I will use material instance, copy and paste, uh, set this material, and I will set a texture that we generated previously. Here it is. We have now a plane lot that consists only of two three triangles and it can be used for meshes on the far distance. When we came closer, it will be switching to uh, a normal mesh. To set up uh, on what distance mesh should be switched we need to go to the details search for distance and disable auto com compute load distance now we can set up uh, on what lot uh, uh, we can step on what screen size uh, each lot should be displayed. For example, now it's switch on this value. I will reduce it, for example, to 0 0.2. Back to auto. And now it will switch on this value. And that's all. Thank you for watching.